Hey, it's Ben here, and here in Photoshop I just wanted to look at a few different ways in which we can undo or step back through things that we've done when we've made a mistake. So the first way of doing this is to go to Edit and then Undo, and you can see we have Undo and then the previous action that was taken, so uh, Command and Z or Control and Z on the PC. Um, so if we do modif Undo, Modify, Hue and Saturation, you can see this orange has changed and um, we can also step forward so as soon as we undo then we can redo something and if we want to look at that in more detail then we can come up to the history panel on the top right if you don't see the history panel there then just like all your other panels if you go to window and scroll down halfway then you'll see the history panel so we can toggle it on and off from the window menu or uh, from this little button uh, the history button here so when we stretch this out you can see all the different uh, task that I've done in this particular example. So right through from the quick selection um, through to different effects and cropping and adjusting that I've done in this particular design. So at any point in time we can have a look at this and step back and then find out where we want to be in the project that we're working on. So you can see here we can step forward and decide kind of where we've made our mistake. Now if you are stepping back through things then when you step back if we now do something new so if I grab a type layer here for instance and add a type layer then you can see once that type layer is added then we lose some of those original clone stamp layers so basically now I can't go back to um, some of the other effects that were ahead of where we kind of step back to in that particular instance. So those are the two main ways of going back in Photoshop if you've made a mistake. Um, so edit, undo, or control or command and Z as the shortcuts, or using the history panel um, to step back through things. If you close down uh, your document, so I'm just gonna undo this. And if we go to file, we'll save this, and then we close it and then we reopen it so you can see we can open it from here then we don't have the history panel there so as soon as you close a document the history panel is cleared so you want to make sure that when you're saving and closing um, that you actually don't want to go back and kind of make any changes um, through the history if you want to kind of safeguard against that then one way of doing that is to version things so if I go to file save as here you can see I can save my water polo h2o document and then i might append it with r01 which means revision one uh, i'll save it i will do some more work on it um, and edit it perhaps we will come to our layers here we'll add a hue saturation layer i'm going to drag this all the way up to the top and we'll just kind of do a bit of a colorize on this image so we've changed this image now so when I've made a big change to an image here, I don't want to save it over the previous version of that image. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'll save it as Revision 2. And that now means that I can go back to that Revision 1 or previous revisions if I'm working on a bigger project, and then open things up if I've kind of made a big mistake somewhere ahead of things uh, in my my project so I can always go back to those older revisions. If I'm working on a big project I might revision things you know once or twice a day um, and then that will mean I can go back to previous revisions if uh, I have made a mistake and need to go back. So I hope this is helpful explaining the history panel and also how to access it and then also explaining the kind of undo options that you have in Photoshop. If you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments below otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next video.